At the recent Money in the Bank event, there was a highly anticipated bloodline civil war match between Roman Reigns and Jey Uso. Surprisingly, Jey managed to cleanly pin Reigns in the center of the ring, leaving both Reigns and the WWE Universe in shock. This victory earned Jey a well-deserved shot at Reigns' undisputed Universal Championship at the upcoming SummerSlam event in August. The rivalry between the two intensified on the latest episode of WWE SmackDown, where Reigns appeared to be passing the torch to Jay, but instead resorted to a low blow and attacked both Jay and his brother Jimmy. However, Jay managed to stand tall at the end of the show, challenging Reigns to a trial of combat and declaring himself the judge, jury, and executioner. In this video, we would be discussing three reasons why Jay Uso should win the undisputed WWE Universal Championship at SummerSlam, and three reasons why Reigns should retain his title. And also stay till the end of the video to find out the verdict of who is going to win at SummerSlam. But before that, make sure to hit that subscribe button and hit the bell icon and help Wrestling Matters grow. Thank you for all your support and let's begin our list now. Should Beat The huge upset would make headlines and generate publicity. The WWE has always had a strong affinity for publicity, and a scenario where Jey Uso defeats Roman Reigns once again and claims the WWE Undisputed Championship would undoubtedly generate immense attention. Reigns' reign as champion, lasting over 1,000 days, and his nearly four-year undefeated streak were testaments to his status as the face of the company. Currently, the WWE is enjoying a surge in popularity, and fans have had little reason to complain a rarity in recent times. Seizing this momentum, the company would benefit greatly from capturing more viewership and engagement. Making headlines and dominating social media trends has proven effective in attracting audiences to both weekly shows and premium live events. An Uso victory over Reigns would create a massive buzz, potentially going viral and garnering widespread attention. The enthusiastic response Jay received on SmackDown clearly demonstrates that fans are fully invested in this intense rivalry. Shouldn't beat. It would cost Roman Reigns a lot of momentum for the rest of 2023. While Jay Uso's recent success and exceptional wrestling skills are undeniable, it's crucial to consider the long-term momentum and status of Roman Reigns. Reigns has meticulously cultivated his superstardom over the years, positioning himself as the franchise player and face of the WWE. While it's inevitable that Reigns will eventually relinquish the title, doing so too soon and to Jey Uso may undermine his hard-earned momentum and status. Maintaining momentum is paramount for any WWE superstar, as it determines their placement on the card and the quality of storylines they are involved in. Reigns' stature as the face of the WWE is built upon his sustained success and fan support. A loss to Jey Uso at this juncture could potentially disrupt his upward trajectory and diminish his value in the eyes of the audience. It is important to carefully strategize when and how to transition the championship from Reigns to another deserving contender. Preserving Reigns' momentum and ensuring a meaningful storyline for his title loss will help sustain his prominence within the company for the foreseeable future. Should Beat A Storybook Ending to the Bloodline Storyline a happy ending is always a crowd favorite, and professional wrestling thrives on the art of storytelling. Similar to movies, audiences often root for the hero to triumph. Currently, Jimmy and Jey Uso are poised to embark on an extraordinary babyface journey as the bloodline story reaches its climax. What a captivating conclusion it would be to witness the hero, Jey Uso, secure a monumental victory over the villainous Roman Reigns, emerging as the champion. The fans' unwavering support for Jay is palpable, and his genuine intensity displayed on SmackDown demonstrates his ability to seize the opportunity and shine. Such a triumph would solidify Jay's status as a top-tier superstar within the WWE roster, propelling his career to unprecedented heights. He has proven his readiness for this pivotal moment, and the culmination of the Bloodline storyline, coupled with his upcoming match against Roman Reigns, presents an ideal opportunity to propel him towards stardom. However, it's worth noting that there is another potential storybook ending scenario involving another superstar, which we will explore later on. Shouldn't beat. Roman would no longer be the head of the table. The Samoan dynasty has left an indelible mark on the wrestling industry, spanning across generations. Each member of the Anoa'i family has contributed something special, and Roman Reigns now holds the prestigious position at the head of the table. 
Losing his title to Jey Uso would be a seismic event for Reigns, symbolically stripping him of his status as the head of the table. Even if Reigns were to regain the title in a subsequent rematch, the impact would not be the same, and the WWE may need to move away from this character entirely. While Jey's victory would be monumental, it wouldn't align with Reigns' current character and gimmick. The moment when Reigns passed the Ula Fula from his own neck to place it on Jay's head while kneeling was surreal and significant. It seemed as though Reigns was acknowledging Jay as the new tribal chief and head of the table. However, it was merely a ploy, offering a fleeting glimpse into a future where Reigns was no longer at the pinnacle. Yet the WWE Universe is not prepared for that future at this moment, diluting Reigns' standing and discarding such a captivating and dominant gimmick purely for shock value would not be a prudent decision in the long run. Should beat? Would set up future matches and feuds between Bloodline members. WWE is renowned for its forward-thinking approach, constantly planning for the future and aiming to keep the company on an upward trajectory. The current landscape appears promising for the company's future. If Jey Uso were to defeat Roman Reigns, it would open up numerous possibilities for the Bloodline storyline. Naturally, a rematch between Jey and Reigns would be highly anticipated. But WWE could also explore the dynamic of brother versus brother, pitting Jimmy against Jey in a compelling feud for the championship. Additionally, they could choose to push Solo Sokoa and establish a rivalry between him and Jey providing Reigns with a well-deserved break. Jimmy and Jey Uso have already had remarkable careers in WWE, particularly within the tag team division. However, the Bloodline narrative has brought their collective success to new heights. Placing the championship on another member of the Bloodline would solidify the entire group as formidable forces within the company. Considering Solo Sokoa's consistent improvement each week, it would serve as a strong foundation for his future in WWE. The groundwork has already been laid, evident in Solo Sokoa's actions that sidelined Jimmy on SmackDown. Verdict shouldn't beat. It would devalue Roman Reigns' WrestleMania 40 match WrestleMania 40, set to take place in 2024, marks a monumental anniversary in WWE's history. The significance of this event cannot be overstated, making it crucial to carefully consider the championship status of Roman Reigns leading up to it. For Reigns to enter WrestleMania 40 either without the WWE Undisputed Championship or having lost and regained it would lack the same impact as if he were to arrive as a reigning champion after a two-year reign. Reigns currently holds the Undisputed WWE Universal Championship, and his ongoing reign has elevated the title to unprecedented importance, solidifying it as the most prestigious championship in the company. Preserving the elevated status of the championship heading into the grandest WrestleMania anniversary event would have significant implications for both the belt and the company as a whole. Considering the discussions surrounding Cody Rhodes potentially challenging Reigns in the main event of WrestleMania 40, it would be a monumental feat if Rhodes could culminate his story by dethroning Reigns on the grandest stage of them all. This represents the most compelling reason why Jey Uso should not defeat Roman Reigns for the Undisputed Championship. What are your thoughts on the potential clash between Roman Reigns and Jey Uso for the Undisputed Championship? Should Jey Uso dethrone Reigns and claim the title? Or should Reigns retain his position as the head of the table? Let us know your opinions in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this discussion, make sure to subscribe to Wrestling Matters for more exciting content. Stay tuned as we bring you the latest updates and analysis from the world of professional wrestling. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.